In part one, we cleaned up and restored these plastics, and I have to say this console is looking fantastic. However, there's a few little touch-ups that we want to do. We want to get this yellow looking nice and fresh. I also want to maybe try and brighten up these buttons. And there's a little dint down here as well. I'll see what we can do which are about hiding. So let's take it apart and let's get started on taking that panel off. So that popped out real easy. Uh, what we're actually going to do now is we're going to try and match this color using some acrylic dollar store paints and then we're going to create like a little stamp which is hopefully going to give us a nice even look across the top there. So let's move on and try and do that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut this uh, foam out and double it up so that we actually have like a kind of stamp and then we're going to push this down on here. So that hopefully will give us a nice even uh, spread across there. I think we've got a reasonably good match. Uh, it should be a little bit brighter. It's going to dry slightly. So it should be slightly darker. It's going to dry a little lighter. Uh, but I think that's a pretty good match in terms of color. So we'll give this a go and we'll see, see how it works out. So I've gone through and I've tidied this up now with some cotton buds and it's not perfect but it looks pretty good. Um, one mistake that I did make, this pad actually worked pretty well. I don't think I got an even enough coverage and then it was very tempting where it's bad to go back and then try and just use a brush uh, but that gives a really really uneven coverage. You need to spend a lot of time uh, using cotton buds going back over the edges and just running them along kind of perpendicular and making sure that you get a nice tidy uh, line at the top there. The outer edges are not so much of a worry as, as the inside edges, uh, but spend the time and you can get this looking really, really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell that that's not original. So we'll put this back in and then we'll tidy up those switches. Okay, so while that front bezel is drying, let's look at these switches. So I don't know how well you can see it here, uh, but these guys are kind of dusty, they're kind of grimy. Uh, so we're just going to clean it up with a scouring pad and a little bit of WD-40, and that'll give them a nice shine. And so for this little chip here, all we're going to do is just use a little bit of this brown paint shake it up. I'm not going to mix it or try to colour match it or do anything real fancy with it. Uh, just get in there. A little bit of a little dab on the paintbrush. And then just mark it in. So that should dry pretty a little bit lighter and it should look pretty good. So once that's done, this is going to be pretty much complete in terms of the cosmetics. What well, is going to be complete in terms of the cosmetics? We can. So we've done the upper case. We've repainted this rim and we've uh, revitalized these buttons. And this console now is looking absolutely fantastic. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to install a video mod, and then in the final video, we're going to be putting together uh, a new panel inside of the uh, original joysticks, and that's going to be. Uh, making those a lot a lot more solid, a lot more robust and also repair them because they're broken currently. So that'll be coming in the next couple of videos. Thanks for watching.